we actually talking about this device. Yeah, this, so this is the base sen uh, CineRT base sensor. Cinema 5D at Interbe 2019 is brought to you by Lawa, unique cinema and photography lenses. Fomex, devoted to remarkable light. Gudson, capture the world. And Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Lerd from Focus Bug. Bug. Focus, Focus Bug. Bug. Yeah, Focus Bug Technologies, but it seems to be shortened to Focus Bug. Everybody refers to us now as the Focus Bug, and our product is the uh, Cine RT system, which is an ultrasonic rangefinder tracking system. A little bit about the company. I guess it's a rather small but successful company. That's right. Um, so we're based in Vancouver, British Columbia, in Canada, and we're a team of essentially two people, uh, Focus Puller. I've uh, been a camera assistant for 17 years and my business partner is a sound engineer and a programmer. Uh, his name's John Ritchie and he's been in the business for... Ever. Forever, yeah, a long time. We met five years ago on a project and hit it off. We had an idea for a tape measure. Which came obviously from in the field. You needed something which was probably not available or not, or maybe it was available but didn't do the thing the way you wanted it to do, which is what? Exactly. Well, when you're collecting marks to actors, you want to know the distance to your subject at all times. That's, that's key. And often in a shot, if you do have time to rehearse it, you've collected a number of reference points on set in terms of distance. And then you're able to dial that into the lens. Uh, so um, sometimes this is done by hand by one person on the camera, but often if you have a camera team, you have the camera operator and then the first assistant or focus puller, and that's their whole gig is to maintain focus. So marks become very valuable. But those type of things already exist. So what is the uniqueness of your system? Well, what we wanted to do right out of the gate was offer uh, people a smaller solution, so a more lightweight and compact solution that could fit in any camera build or configuration, which meant that we needed to offer RF compatibility to other components in the system. Um, a lot of focus pillars are no longer working right on the camera as they would have in the past with a mechanical follow focus, which turns the lens. Uh, you have a lot of remote systems like this uh, C-Motion system now, which controls the lens remotely. So uh, focus pillars are often working off the camera uh, with a satellite monitor, and uh, so we needed to offer people that right out of the box. So you created the brain? Created the brain, yeah, exactly. So there's a microprocessor in here that's crunching numbers at a million times a second. Uh, it's uh, a, and a recent microchip too. Which is very small, I have to say. We're actually talking about this device. Yeah, this, so this is the base sen uh, CineRT base sensor. Essentially, it goes on the camera. You have a power input and a serial data output. So as this processes distances, it can actually send those values uh, into systems like the C-Motion lens control system, so or the ARRI system, or the Preston system, so any major uh, lens, lens control system manufacturer these days is able to uh, accept our data into their system. And it's, it's quite amazing, but the thing is, just out of curiosity, can this do also autofocus? There's this constant debate if autofocus is for professionals or not, and I'm coming from a documentary background when sometimes you are alone and you need this help. What is your opinion? It is a, it is a debate. Um, you know what? I think at the end of the day, all focus pullers would like a panic button. You know, because often now we're shooting in extremely dark conditions with lots of diffusion, lots of neutral density filtration. Um, so you don't often have the spectral highlights in eyes and the light areas that you normally would have. Uh, so sometimes you can get lost in that image, even if you're just you know going off your monitor without marks. So uh, the bonus of our system, although it's created for a more traditional approach to focus pulling, is that you can press a button in one of the lens control systems, you send the data, and we're sending distance uh, uh, information at 12 times a second, as opposed to eight times a second with the Cinetape. Um, but you can send that dis distance information right into the system, directly to the motors, engage the motor, uh, and if everything's calibrated, you know, uh, it, it will 
give you autofocus. How about pricing? Uh, availability, obviously it's, it's, it's ready, but how about pricing? We have what we call the system package, which is comprised of the base sensor, uh, this uh, handset control unit, which is like a remote operator, opening up the functionality of the system, a high bright display, which is purely a remote uh, LED distance display, and uh, one transmitter which gives you 120 foot range. Uh, and that package, the system package, sells for 8,800 US. Uh, comes with a case and a powering, uh, powering cable, everything you would expect. Last question from my side. Again, as an operator, a single operator, is there any way or plans to reduce the size of this system and make it a bit more compact so it can really function in smaller environments and not like uh, on set? I'll tell you that so far, you know, it's being used mostly on larger camera builds in film and television. However, I've seen it used on the um, the Sony Venice with the the sensor block, which is a very small, small. size. Uh, CineRT is being mounted on that for uh, you know handheld and a lot of special applications. Uh, I've also seen this mounted on a Ronin gimbal on a you know using an A7S. Uh, where it's even the base is even being used as a counterweight uh, to help out the balance of the gimbal, so sort of set back towards the the backside of the gimbal. Um, so yeah, it can be used in in small builds, very discreet, uh, one person operated type systems. Lert, thank you very much. It was really a pleasure. Thank you. And to hear more information about uh, a new product, or actually a new in Japan product, but it's still very interesting. Yeah. Guys, thank thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.